my channel if you're new here. I'm TK and this channel focuses on attainable fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel. If you are one of my returning subscribers, thank you so much. I couldn't do this without you. Today's video is the ultimate travel tips while traveling to Jamaica. Yes, Jamaica. Jamaica is a gorgeous island. Usually Jamaica is one of the first that pops into your head when you imagine Caribbean vacations. If you have decided that Jamaica is your destination, I wanna provide you with some tips to help you navigate you during your travel. Let's get into the tips. Passports, yes, you need a passport traveling international. Jamaica's international, get a passport if you wanna to go to Jamaica. Let's talk about confirmations. This is regarding your flights, your resorts, your ground transportation to and from the airport. Be sure to have all your confirmations prior to traveling. Make a copy of them. Bring the, your confirmations along with you. This is a tip so that you can be sure that what you booked is what you receive. This leads into the money. I suggest bring at least 100 ones for tipping. Trust me, they appreciate the one to two dollar tips you give them. If you decide that you are still going to bring credit debit cards, I suggest using one dedicated card. My choice is the American Express card. I use that for all my travel expenses. If you're staying at a resort, an all-inclusive resort, there's no need to worry about money because all of your food, your drinks, and the activities on the resorts are free. But if you're booking any excursions, I urge you to book them through your resort. This is the cheapest and safest way to navigate you to and from your excursions. Your hotel will pick you up, take you, bring you back, and you don't have to worry about it, about any paying taxi fees. Packing, what should you pack? Let's be clear. If you're traveling Delta, basic economy or main cabin, it's 50 pounds. Don't go over 50 pounds. But if you're traveling on Delta's first class, business class, or Delta One, your bag should be less than 70 pounds. Let's just keep in mind that your first check bag is $30. Or if you're a Delta Sky, Sky Miles, Amex, or Medallion member, you can check up the three bags for free. And this feature is using your Amex Delta's gold card. So let's get into about three little important essential tips that will help you put what you need in your carry on. Rule of thumb, tip number one, please be sure to pack a change of clothes in your carry on. This is in case your luggage gets lost or delayed so you won't be walking around in your same clothes, your airport clothes. This brings me to tip two, purchase air tags. Just put your air tags in your check bags. It will leave, relieve you from so much stress. You will have the ability to see where your bags are at all times, tracking them through your air tags. Tip number three, I cannot stress enough. Bring a blue or black ink pen, guys. You will thank me later for this. Traveling international, this is so essential because you will need to fill out various immigration related forms once you arrive in Jamaica. Also, please have your resort or your Airbnb name and address details available because you will need to enter this information on your immigrant documents. You're now in beautiful Jamaica. If you are traveling to Montego Bay or Kingston's airport, let me tell you about a VIP service that will make your life so much easier navigating through customs. This service is called Club Mo Bay. With this optional service, you will be treated like a VIP the moment you step off the plane. The service will fast track you through customs with, with one of the members that have your personal lives meet or greet they'll have a card with your name or whatever you tell them to call you they'll have it ready for you and they'll whiz you right through customs and there's no need to stand in those long hectic customs lines there in jamaica 
If you choose this service, you can go onto their website. It's VIPattractions.com and book their services. The rates for their services comes in singles or bundles. If you choose a bundle service, it's $83 per adult, $48 per child. Child's ages range from two to 12 years of age. Infants are free. If you choose the VIP meet and greet, which is your arrival service, it's $50 per adult, $25 per child, ages two to 12, infants are free. Lastly is their departure service. It's $33 per adult, $23 per child, to ages two to 12. Most people who use the service say that the departure service is the best service to choose. It gets you your money's worth because you can go into Club Mobe Lounge and enjoy free food and free drinks while waiting on your flight to leave. But I decided to choose the bundle service. This is because I know how the I know how hectic the customs lines are and how stressful it is when you're going through customs in Jamaica. This is why I am using the bundle service to breeze me through customs and my attendant will also go and they will find your ground transportation service for you that will take you to your resort. It makes it less stressful searching for your transportation attendant. Well, now that you have breezed through customs and you're on your way to your resort, I want you to have an amazing, beautiful time in Jamaica. And please keep in mind that the travel tips I have given you in this video will be essential to help you with less stress. Now that we have come to the end of this video, I want to thank you all who stayed until the end. My next video will be a pack with me for Jamaica. So please don't miss that video, which will lead into my next video, my Jamaica vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all so much. Love you. Bye.